Hello everybody, today I want to show you how to replace a fuel quantity valve on your Detroit DD15. In this case, the, the, the fuel quantity valve was uh, not working uh, properly, it was uh, having a idle. So, uh, the first thing you need to do is to open the fuel filter. To open this fuel filter here, so the all fuel in the fuel filter housing goes uh, gets away from the uh, system. So you don't make a mess when you open lines. The second thing to do is to remove all these lines. All these lines that go over here, that goes over, they go over here. So these lines are the ones that transfer the fuel from the fuel filter housing to the fuel pump and to the high pressure fuel pump. So uh, you have to remove these lines. In this case, uh, the lower one, which is this one, this is the lower one here. This is 27 millimeters. And this one here, this one, which is the one that goes right here, and the second, and the, and the third here, uh, this is uh, uh, 22 millimeters. And the one that goes on top, which is gonna be this one, this is the one that goes on top, this is 19 millimeters. So you have to take all these lines out so you make some room for work. Then after removing all those lines, you have to remove this bracket. This bracket here, this is a fuel pump bracket. This uh, fuel pump bracket goes to the fuel pump with these bolts and to the engine block with this. This is our 18 millimeter bolts, the big ones, and the 13 millimeter bolts, the small ones. So you have to remove this one, that one goes in there, in there, right there. You can see the thread of the bolts there. So it goes all the way right there and it goes hold it right there. So then after that, you have to remove three 30, three 30 bolts from the uh, fuel uh, quantity bulb. So after removing the three tor bolts, so you can see that one is ready to go. You have to remove them out. See, this one came off easily. Using a 330, as I say, 330 for this one. Don't use any other uh, uh, socket because you will mess with the uh, ball and later will be a really hard time to take it off. So after that, the only thing you need to do to remove this uh, fuel quantity valve is just to wiggle it like this. Just wiggle it until it gets out. So you may need to use a screwdriver. So when I use a screwdriver, So you can break the seals and, and get off. You can see here it's coming out and it's out now. It's completely out. So to get it out is just to you just need to get it out like this straight and it's completely out. This is the fuel quantity ball, so it's very easy to replace it once you have the right tools and the time. So you have to be sure that there is not any dirt inside. There is nothing. There is nothing that can uh, affect to install the new one, and you have to inspect. There is two seals. You see one here, one here. So this seal has to be here if there over there when you install the new one there will be a problem so just be sure that the seals are here if they're not here just inspect the housing for the seals to re remove them and you have to buy the new part which is this one this is the new fuel quantity part from the dealer it's around seven hundred dollars you can buy it almost in any freightliner dealer uh 
or Detroit uh, engine source. So you can uh, you can replace it yourself, or you can take it at shop. But as you can see, it's not a very long process to do. But it requires special tools, uh, as the torques and some wrenches, and then are very uh, hard to get. But still, uh, you can do it with basic tools if you have some basic tools. But it will be harder to make uh, to make the job. But uh, this is pretty much all. So uh, thanks, thanks very much for your time. Have a great day.